so coming down to the moment of truth for you, we started off yesterday doing a few laughs with very limited, no introduction, you know, driving a new car that you're unfamiliar with, um, not necessarily having the right techniques, but having enough to get you around the course safely. So after this day and a half, you know, we spent time down in the oval, we worked on the heel-toe downshift, we covered things like vision and weight transfer and vehicle dynamics, all the things that you would need to make you a good street driver, but also to make you a great road racer, okay? You know, you have the right resources now. Now we just need to keep it within three tenths of a second from one another. And, you know, looking for the three tenths on a racetrack is typically the hardest thing for a driver to do. It's easy to get rid of the seconds, but when it comes down to really milling and fine toning that, that last little bit, that's it's a the hard consistency part. that's difficult to achieve. Absolutely. But honing down, you know, how well or how you do your shift in general, you know, maybe a little bit more RPM so it's not nearly locking up as much. And it's not happening often, but when it does, it definitely kind of upsets the balance of the car. And I can see you reacting to that, and I can even see the car react to that. So really be a little bit more conscious about that. So going into this final session, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm excited. How do you feel your, your skill set is from yesterday going into this session? Yeah, much better. Much better. I'm, I certainly am able to identify when I perform the maneuvers smoothly. Mm -hmm. I can tell there's a vast difference between barely making it around the corner and just barely keeping control of the vehicle versus doing it with authority and control, precision, and therefore a little bit more speed. And the other thing that I noticed, you know, you, like you said, you notice things that are happening in the car you're more aware you know so that one time you went in the corner and the car started going to oversteer where it started rotating you maintained your composure you understood how to fix it and you corrected it okay? now the next lap you didn't get into that same situation because you understood what you did that prior lap to induce that so you're noticing when you're making mistakes but it's also showing me that on that lap that you made the mistake going into that corner you thought about okay well why did that happen did I get on the gas too aggressively? Did I break too late? And you're making the corrective actions to prevent that. So being more aware is absolutely helping you and, and making you more consistent than you were yesterday. Another 10,000 laps, I think I'd be up there. You'd be spot on. You'd be spot on. You'd be, uh, we'd be racing door to door at that point. What would you say about, from your observation, my balance between being aggressive and yet conservative enough not to uh, have an accident? Uh, that's a good question. You know, there was times where, where I saw a little frustration kick in, and once the frustration starts kicking in, like when you, on yesterday when you would make a mistake, you would get frustrated at the fact that, okay, I oversold the car, I got too sideways, or I got loose, or whatever that happened, and you'd go in there and you'd drive the car harder, and, you know, your frustration reflects on how you actually drive. Well, today, rather than getting frustrated at those situations or the problem, you're able just to grasp and say, do you know what? It happened. I know what to do to fix it and now you're able to maintain much composure. So just by understanding the processes and the corrective actions to fix the problems has actually made you less of an aggressive driver and that's ultimately what's keeping you out of trouble. Let's get you in a suit and uh, get you in a helmet and we'll uh, go out there and do this. Great, thanks.
was it? Felt a lot better. Felt a lot smoother. And uh, it was real enjoyable. You know, the uh, most interesting thing I noticed was how relaxed I was. I wasn't trying to, you know, really push it, and yet I felt my time was going faster. No, it, it definitely showed, you know, from watching the watching you drive around from our tower over there. Um, you looked more smooth, you looked more calm, you looked more, uh, just more relaxed in general. And not only did, did I visually see it, but your lap times definitely uh, saw a big improvement as well. Um, you know, as we mentioned yesterday, you went out there on your own, uh, four laps, very little instruction, just enough to get you out there safely. And you, you know, started off at a 111.83, you dropped down to a 109, you went back up to a 110.27, went back down to 109. You were jumping There's all no, over no the chart. consistency there. Yeah, I looked at it and you're about three seconds off uh, from your fastest lap to your slowest lap. Okay. So after a day and a half of coming out here, work on a one-on-one -on -one with each other, going through some basic drills, uh, get you to drive out on track, work on handling mobile, vision, vehicle handling, car control, all the fundamentals to make you a better, safer, and more consistent driver. Uh, we noticed immediately your first lap out was a 107.89, so you were already almost two seconds faster than your fastest lap from yesterday. Okay. Then he started going down to a 107.1, so he almost picked up another second. Down to 10686, and then your final run was your fastest run at a 10654. So you ultimately shaved over three seconds off your overall lap time with one and a half days of training. That's the most exciting thing for me is to see that with each lap going faster and faster. Yeah, now that just shows that you know you start off pretty conservatively and you progressively kept it. Now it seems to increase. You started fixing things where you feel like a little bit better, or maybe I should try. And it, it just shows that you know you apply that information to the last couple of days. Now, I'm guessing that with almost any student who comes out here, you're going to see similar results. Now, that is a testament to the outstanding, superb instruction here at Bondurant. And also, special thanks to Corey Hosford for his outstanding ability Appreciate to it. teach and convey the techniques. Uh, not once was I confused about anything he was instructing me in. It was all clear and concise, and uh, you went around, you got in the car with me, you were right there spot on watching what I did, and uh, I'm just absolutely not only enthralled with the experience I just got here, but I'm absolutely amazed with the outstanding caliber of instructors that you have here at Wanderon. It's, uh, you know what, if you guys like driving a car, you're robbing yourself of a rich, rich experience. Come here to Bondurant and learn with these guys because they'll teach you what you need and want to know. Well, I appreciate it. Corey, it's been a, it's been a blast. It's a pleasure. Yeah.